What is up everyone and welcome back to the show. I still haven't decided to call this a vlog or a show. Forgive me, I am just starting out. But either way, today I'm gonna give you tips on how to start waking up early, specifically at 5 a.m. Okay, so before anything, I know exactly what you're thinking. Why would anyone want to start waking up at 5 a.m.? Do you hate sleep? Do you want to torture yourself? No, okay? In fact, I love sleep and I love sleep so much that I even make a habit of sleeping by 10 p.m. latest 10.30 as much as possible. Although I will say I am more consistent with the whole waking up at 5 a.m. than sleeping early part, but... In any case, this has done wonders for me for my sleep, just so you know. Um, I get such good sleep now, now that I wake up at 5 a.m. That being said, let's first answer the question, why do I even wake up at 5 a.m.? Like, what could I possibly want to start doing that early in the morning? Okay, so here's the thing. Once upon a time last year, I decided to try to make the habit of waking up at 5 a.m. I tried this out for a good two weeks with a couple of friends. Like We had this whole accountability group where we message each other as soon as we wake up to make sure that we'd stay awake and get on with our day. But just like many things in life, that died a natural death long. So this year, I decided to try it out again. And the reason why I've been able to keep up this habit for, I think it's been almost like two or three months now, is because I now have a compelling reason for waking up at 5 a.m. You see, last year when I tried this out, I dreaded waking up at 5 a.m. I wanted it, but I didn't know why I wanted to be awake that early. I didn't know what I wanted to do in the day if I were to wake up at 5 a.m. So for me, what made sense was to sleep in because I didn't know what my day was gonna look like anyway. Which isn't the case today, which is why I'm able to wake up at 5 a.m. pretty much consistently. So what became my compelling reason to start waking up at 5 a.m. every day? It's pretty simple. I just wanted enough time or more time in the day to actually do the things that I wanted to do. And so by waking up at 5 a.m., I'm able to get like these full three and a half hours where it's just me, no one else around, and I get to do everything and anything that I want. So from 5 to about 7.30 a.m., that's my time. At 5 a.m., the whole house is asleep. In fact, the whole world is asleep. So I take that time to meditate because I've always wanted to get into meditation and now I meditate every day. I take the time to pray, I read the Bible every day, and I do my prayers, which I love because it's just being close to Jesus for me is so important. And to pray for people. I've always wanted to pray for people and now that I've found time to do that, it just makes me feel so much better. The next thing I do is I read, but if my meditation and prayers take a little bit longer than usual then i'll go straight into dancing sometimes i'll rehearse a chorus that my sisters and i learned or i'll learn a new dance and then after that i'll go straight into my workout for the day so by 7 30 i've gotten all these things done i'm happy oh by the way i also journal in the morning i'm happy and i'm just ready to face whatever i have to do for the rest of the day but the good thing is that i've already achieved all the things that I've wanted to do for myself and now it's just about doing the things that I need to do for work or for my businesses etc so yeah that's why I wake up at 5 a.m. another reason as to why I wake up that early though is also because I get to see the world before anyone else does and there are just so many beautiful things that you get to see when you wake up that early I've seen moon sets, um, stars in the sky, even though the sun's rising. I've experienced super cool mornings. I've experienced rain, like sudden rain out of nowhere. And then the rest of the day, it's just super sunny. I don't know. It's, it's like, it's almost like at 5 a.m. I get to experience this whole secret world that just not a lot of people get to because they don't wake up early. 
So if you want to be part of the 5 a.m. club, just let me know. So that is the first step to waking up at 5 a.m. or waking up that early. You have to have a compelling enough reason that'll make you want to jolt out of your bed to start waking up at that day. Now the second step to waking up at 5 a.m. or to waking up early in general is to plan out your task for the day the night before. So when you wake up at 5 a.m., it's not enough to just want to be up that early. You need a compelling reason, but you also need to know what you're going to do with all that time, okay? Or else you'll end up scrambling, which in my experience is super duper stressful. That's how you end up waking up feeling anxious, and that's how you end up falling back to sleep because you just don't know what you're going to do that day. So what you can do is you can actually create a to-do list the night before that will help you plan out all the tasks that you need to accomplish within that day or rather the next day. If you're curious on how to create to-do lists that you can actually achieve and actually accomplish, I discussed this secret called the big three. Like that's basically how I have been able to create to-do lists that I'm always able to accomplish and it's just such a fulfilling feeling when you're able to see when you're able to just cross up all the things on your to-do list and at the end of the day that's like yes like i feel so good and successful anyway so if you want to learn how to do that you can actually watch my video but essentially that's a tip um you can create a to-do list the night before you can do this and if you're struggling to create to-do list you can start to do the big three method the third step is to remind yourself of your why as you're going to sleep. This may sound a bit funny, but it's something that my dad taught me and it super works. So as I'm going to sleep, I'll tell myself stuff like, okay, when I wake up at 5 a.m., I need to get up because I need to meditate and pray and I want to finish this chapter of the book before I get into my workouts for the day, before I get into dancing, CrossFit, etc. Um, other times it'll be like, okay, I want to wake up at 5 a.m. today because I want to see the sky before the whole world does. And just have that moment, have that moment with the universe, just the universe and me. Yeah, so stuff like that, but it has to be compelling enough to make you want to jolt out of bed. So I'll repeat that to myself constantly until I fall asleep. And then more often than not, I actually end up waking up before my alarm the next day. Like I just wake up automatically. I don't know how it works. I don't know why it works, but it works. Um, sometimes my alarm will ring and I'll wake up, but I won't feel the need to go back to bed just because I know what I want to do today. I know why I have to wake up that early. See, it's so important to discover your why and your purpose. So yeah. Surprise! Okay, so yes, um, the reason why this part of this episode is a completely different setting and I look different, etc. is because I had just found out as I was editing that episode that I had accidentally deleted um, my ending clip for that episode. Lol. Anyway... We are trying to make do with what we have. So to wrap everything up, the three tips I have for you for making a habit of waking up at 5 a.m. every day or to just wake up early in general is to first have a compelling enough reason as to why you want to wake up that early anyway. And it has to be compelling enough that you actually willingly want to get out of your bed. Like, it just has to be that important to you. Otherwise, you'll just end up sleeping again. The second is to plan out your day the night before. Again, you can tune into my video from, I think it was two weeks ago, on how to create a to-do list you can actually achieve. It's super helpful, super, super simple, and it's also very life-changing. The third and final tip is to remind yourself as you're going to sleep as to why you want to wake up that early in the first place. So yeah. That's about it for this episode. I hope it super helps. If you have any questions about how to start waking up early or any questions about creating positive habits in general, feel free to comment them down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you like this video and you like my content so far, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Next week, I will be releasing another wellness tip. I think it actually might be a DIY if I'm not mistaken. Anywho, sending you all love and light, and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week so far. 
Mwah. See you next time.